Today's the day we're going to add some square footage to the screen patio. Ooh, 25 bags of concrete. I don't know if it'll take that many, but I got extra because I got other things I can use concrete for, so it ain't going to go to waste. I've already got these dug out. Actually, got that one a little bit too deep. The challenge is going to be getting this level because I don't, not so much this wall, but that one. I'm going to have to find a way. I think I'm just going to put a 2x4 on the end and leave it in the wall. So I have something level to go across. Now I can use, I want to be level with this sidewalk. So it's all one solid area. Guys, look at this shirt, man. This is, this, it comes down to my knees now. And these pants, these are my, I've got my belt. <laughs> this is crazy. Look how tight. These are the baggy pants. Baggy pants and I'm a netwit. So, ain't waste time talking. Let's get this thing on the road. Let's get going. I got my Gorilla Kart. I got to get some air in a tire. I ain't got no air in one of the tires. So, got to make sure I do that. All right, let's go. Oh, this is something I had in my truck for 10 years. I forgot I had it. I don't know if it works. Which one's flat? Well, that one's flat. They're all flat. <sighs> Handy. I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Did a lot of digging yesterday. This is all the dirt that I dug out of there. Use it for fill dirt. great man I could have used that last week when I was moving that mower with the flat tar I tell you what I just noticed this thing wasn't rolling right I'm like well I don't know if I've ever checked the air in the tars but here it is let's get them all aired up and get to pouring I gotta set some forms real quick They take about two pounds. <sighs> hey, I was digging. There's an old pull tab. There's so much junk when I was digging those out. Dug up another ancient railroad spike. I don't know if our old railroad went through here. What? It's kind of odd. I think I got all the tools I need. I got a new problem. You know, I was looking for that roller the other day when I was doing this window tape. Remember when I was looking for the air chucks to air up a tire for the mower? They're all in the shop where they should be. I don't remember that things are organized. It was hanging up on the pegs. So were the chucks. What else I found? Found something else too. Anyway, uh, I'm going to set y'all up on, well, here's, here's my setup, guys. Got my big garden hose out. I can't find the end nozzle, so I'm going to fill it up with a bucket, which I can't find. <laughs> but I'm just going to mix it right here. That means I don't have to lift any bags. I can just slide them out, mix them up right there, bring them on over. I cut up some piece of that welded wire fence put in there yeah i mean these ain't huge but i had it might as well use it and then i just put a few pieces of rebar in there not going to put any plastic down this is solid clay so it ain't going to soak in uh so we'll retain some moisture in the concrete i don't have any anyway so i'm just going to wing it and just start i'm not putting any forms or nothing i can see where the floor needs to be it's at the bottom of that two by four I don't really want to hit it, uh, but I need to get all up in there. And I can kind of, kind of cut me a two by four. Yeah, I need to do that before I start. 
and then I can kind of take my finger and hold it along the edge and get it the best I can uh, same with this one now this one I know it'll go almost all the way to the top of that t111 and then this here is self-explanatory so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna have to put a form there something uh, no nah, not really not really because I see I got the depth there we're all right I'll just do the best I can and it'll be good it better be let's get to work put you on time lapse I'm gonna hustle through one of these and then I'm gonna come. tell you something next time you're watching somebody on YouTube and there's a project they haven't done for a long time don't say nothing because people were telling me you need to fill that in with concrete they were telling me that a year ago it would have killed me I ain't kidding you it would have killed me with my high blood, high blood pressure because that is some work alright I got a little bit in here I want to go over this a little oh man I hope I have enough for that one I think I got 15 bags left it should be so I've used 10 here I'll have to count but the temperature is perfect right now for this so I've got plenty of time before this stuff sets up Ah, it's it's going to work out all right, I think. I have to get me a 2 by 4 Oh, man. I will be sore tomorrow, I assure you. Just going to... Ah, got a little spot there I should have dug out, man. I could fill that later. That's where the old post was for the old porch. It's full of foam. I didn't see that. I work this up here. I want this good and even. It's like my belly used to be. Blah, 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 blah. I tell you what, if Mike from the past comes back right now, he is going to, I don't want to be here, he's going to freak out and I'm surprised he ain't showed up yet. You know how he is. He thinks I'm tearing up everything he did. I don't nobody tell him either. Yeah, you're wrong. Did 
do 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 Gotta have a good do 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 in there. Job ain't complete unless you've done a good do do do. Now that's the concrete. So I don't even know if y'all can see it. Look down. If you can't see it, look down. That's how you do that, see? Slurp it in there. I just wonder if I can dig that out. There's that other railroad spike I found. You, you can't tell me that ain't old. That thing's ancient. All right. Let me try to dig this out. Found this old screwdriver too. See, I need that. The land provides. I don't have to rush because this stuff ain't going to set up for quite a while. I got to get all this junk out of here. And this is where the old post was used to be. I need concrete in there. Ah, found an old penny too. Digging yesterday. That ought to be good enough. I did get some of that foam stuff to put on the concrete before I put my board on. All right, now I can get a scoop of concrete, concrete in there. Get some concrete. Oh, yeah. Oh, my knees were hurting so bad this morning. Oh, this tripod's junk. Sorry, guys. Not the most professional filming, but I don't care. This is on the job filming. Look at that. I put that in there like I was a concrete expert all my life. And I ain't, I ain't no expert. Well, do I dare go over that? I don't, I dare do anything. I don't care. All right, now I gotta do my best attempt to level this out. And I'll come back when I'm All right, we'll let that set a couple hours, however long, I, until it gets to the right consistency, then I'll take the edging tool, and I'll float it the rest of the way, finish it out, but uh, pretty easy pour. Yeah, oh, I forgot to hit that with the, we'll get that, but anyway, not too bad of a job. Now, I do have experience with concrete, in fact, I worked, I think it was 80, I don't remember what year. I know it was a year right before my son was born. I, I worked for a contractor, so I would work with the subcontractor. That's how I learned a lot of stuff. Carpentry, concrete, you name it. Because if somebody missed a day or something, I'd fill in, help them out. They'd send me over there. And I ended up doing like a whole summer of concrete work. So I can handle this part. It's just a little hard at my age, but... Like I said, I couldn't have done this, you know, too long ago. Now we got this one. This one's about, I don't think we're going to have enough, man. Let's count the bags. That looks almost twice the size. We'll measure it. I don't know. Okay. Let's go from the back. So we got one up front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen bags. So... Dang, we went through 11. I don't know, four more bags will get it. Yeah, you know why? Because this one's not as deep. So it should just be enough. This one was a lot deeper. A lot deeper than this one. And I did that on purpose because this is where the water came in. And I want a good barrier for that. Uh, this one's only three and a half inches deep, not even. You can see where the bottom of that, where their forms were when they poured the foundation there. So this one looks good, ready to pour. 
uh, I came out so I can lay my two by fours there when I put the wall up and I have got to get on this wall I might have to do it today but it's got to go up tomorrow because we got three days of storms coming and I want a wall up so that's gonna work out pretty good I did have a hole there I patched I need to get the trawl and get in there and but that's gonna come out good it looks I could tell we're pretty even because we're right at the bottom it might need a little floating over that way when I add, when I do this one, if I got any extra, I can dig some of that out. You put it up in that corner, but uh, the rest of it looks good. It's a little bit over. That's the way I want it, so I can level it out better. All right, all right. I'm ready for round two. I took about a 20 minute break. Don't need any more than that. I don't want to get too lazy. So I got enough of the bunch of these pulled up. And I think it'll make it. If not, it's 10 miles down the road to go get more. Yeah, today's Friday. I keep thinking today's Saturday, man. It ain't Saturday. It's Friday. I don't guess it matters. All right. Let's get this one going. And this stuff here, see how it sits up a little? You don't have to pull this up. You know, you don't even really need it for a patch this small. But I had it, so why not use it? I'll probably pull that up in the middle a little bit just to help keep it from cracking and this is doing real well it's pretty wet and I wanted it to be wet so uh, you know and I can see it's already drying off some and then I'll come out here give it time to set up a little then I'll smooth it out real nice but this come out really good should be nice and level along the back there all right I ain't gonna film all this mixing. I'll come back when I got the last batch going in. Warning, this product can expose you to crystalline silica, which is known in the state of California that cause cancer. Do you guys even leave your home? The air gives you cancer. All right, I got to get back to work, but I seen that and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. All right, man, we got three bags left. Should be just enough, just enough, I hope. All right, I don't know. It's going to be close, though. Yeah, it's a good workout, I will tell you that. Good workout. Good workout. Hey, chickens. Stop pecking on that wall. Drive me nuts. Woodpeckers are bad enough, but I don't need my own chickens pecking. All right. Yeah, and if there ain't enough, I guess I'll run down and get some more. But I think we will. Let's... But these are pretty important that I need to get level. That one's, that one's perfect. So if I get this one out the same. This is going to be a little harder to float this one off. Because it's wider. And I'm making this pretty soupy. So it'll take a little longer, plus, well, plus with the temperature. I don't know what it is, 60, 60 degrees out. So, be lucky if I can use it tomorrow. Should be able to. This one's already setting up pretty. Oh, yeah. That's ready to trawl, man. I got to get this one done. It's ready to float. Yeah, one more, three more bags will do it, I would say. Now, I'm going by the T111 there. Let's see, where's that sheet end? Okay, right there. So, if it's a little low, eh, I'll, when, I'll, when I get the hand trawl, I'll, I'll get all that even. I need to get this corner get it over here get this done first so I can dump that last load right there all 
And I want just just above the existing foundation. I've been jamming out to some heavy metal. That's how you do concrete. You just jam out. It's like camp pancake batter. Yes, sir. Just move this up here and jiggle wiggle it. Oh, yeah. Those gorilla carts are great for this. Especially if there's air in the tire. I forgot I had that darn uh, pump. I could have used that one on my mower and I wouldn't have had to go buy a new tire. Which I haven't bought yet, but trying to get those things back on the rim, uh-uh. It had a uh, leak in it anyway. All right, boy, it's, I think we'll get it though. Let me go mix that last three bags. And try not to get that silica cancer. <sighs> Man, that state must be full of labels. I ain't kidding you. You know, I'm messing with you guys. I know I got a lot of subscribers there in Cali, Fortnite. Eh? But they go a little ridiculous on a lot of that stuff. You guys know that. Yeah. All right. Let's go mix these last three bags, man. I'm getting worn out. All right, this is two bags. And I think it'll do it. If not, I got one more. Oh, don't splatter the walls. get this on here so I can finish this out well that's about perfect right there I gotta get to it oh I can't wait to get this room done it's gonna be nice just wish I would have done it while Waldo was alive. He would have loved coming in here. But he'll be in here. My gorilla cart. Yep, I think that's going to be do it. You know that it will. Better to have not enough than too much. Well... I don't want to dig a bunch out of it. You know, y'all down in there, you know what the best way to do concrete is? Pay somebody else to do it. Yeah, I didn't do that. Ah, girl or cart, get back over here. Let's tip you up. Oh, now. There you go. Where's my hoe? Always looking for a hoe. There you are. Yeah, you usually got plenty of time to work with concrete. Yeah, I think we're going to have enough here. little bit and then jump over here finish this one out so I want a nice smooth finish on that get on uh, yeah. what I'm doing here levels it out but also vibrates it you need air pockets out of it see how high we are in the middle but we need more over here Way high over here. The stupid handle. It's about halfway on, and I can't get it either on or off. 
Get out of here. All right, I gotta get some over here for my two by four. wall here so I will have excess I'm sure to throw over here stay off that post a little bit yeah there's gonna be plenty all right now I gotta figure out how to board this <laughs> not gonna be easy because I ain't got six foot legs. All right, we got the right height there. And I made it soupy enough so where it should level out pretty good. Vibrated enough. All right, guys, I come, I'm going to jump on this one here real quick. Let's uh, we'll let that set for a minute. And where's my tools? cutter come on now I know I had it there it is get on my knees don't really need this but I'm gonna do it all right there's my edge just gently right on that determine where I'm at This is where the new meets the old. I don't think I'm quite there. Right. Oh. oh yeah. Thank you for sticking your fingers in there. You're welcome. Chickens. That's why I don't put no foam in there. Those goofy things. Right. <sighs> yeah, it's still, still a bit wet. God, I'm messing up, guys. Still a bit wet. It's been 40 years since I've had to do this. It'll come back to me. I mean, it's going to have flooring, so but I still I don't want to have any troubles when I'm putting the flooring down. Don't want big humps in it, like right there. this set up a little bit more
It's like icing a cake. A cake that causes cancer. <laughs> Gotta get them little dibble dimples out of there. Alright, I bored you guys enough. Let me work on this a little more. Oh, my knees are killing me. Alright. I gotta try to do this and not stick my feet in that one. Do I want to come this way? I mean, I really can't get to it. Alright. I want part, a big part of this board on this here. Get it. Yeah, there's dirt. That looks a little low there. We're gonna have excess. Yeah. Just a slow process. That's doing actually pretty good. See, I don't have a form on that side. I would have had to have left it in the wall. I didn't want to do that. So I've got this, you know, it's ballpark. It's just to make sure you got enough. I got to make sure I got enough. And you know, I'm pushing too hard. hard because I can't get in there. The best I can do with it, but it's it's working. Why well, you didn't need to do that. Making a gobbed up mess down there. good as the other one did I don't have a I don't want to waste a two by four but I think I'm gonna have to because this is too thin that's the problem I will use one of them I busted out of here let's see I should have one right here get on here ah, let's try this again Kick the rock in there. Piece of dirt. That's better. Just let the weight of the board do it. Yeah, that's perfect down there where I need it. At least it's good and wet. Uh, yeah, that's doing great. Doing great. Beautiful. I'll clean that edge up. I'm not worried about that. And there's going to be baseboards and stuff. But I'll clean that wall up. I'm putting something else. I'm going to leave the T111 on the wall. I mean, that's just added added wall, but I'm going to put something more interior-like over it. Don't know what yet. I'm done with cedar. I'm not putting any more cedar on stuff. 
you just get, you know, I've had it for 10 years. I'm sick of it. Tired of smelling it. Which I don't really smell it anymore. Boy, that's, that's good. It's just getting hard because I got pulling a lot of concrete. Which is good. We need it down here. some over there oh the old knee definitely gonna have enough that's good I didn't want to make another I didn't want to make another trip to town You know, most projects, anybody can do them. You just, you know, research it. Watch videos. Because, I, you know, honestly, I hadn't done concrete in so long, I had to refresh myself. And I still ain't no expert, never was. But I have done it. I can get the job done. Just about anything. Electrical, plumbing. Everyone is capable of doing it theirself. And the more you don't have to rely on other people, the better off you are. All right, here's where we run into a wall. Well, we run into a post. That's all right, I can do this. I'm gonna rinse this two by four off so I can use it again. And, and what that does, it just, that saw in motion, get up here where I'm talking. Not only does it vibrate it, but it helps level it out. And if you've got a forms all the way around, well, you know your level. And it's moving that concrete where it needs to be. So now I'm going to get my hand trowel. All right, I'll get some finishing work done and we'll come back. Okay. I'm glad that's done. I have one bag left. I might need it for something. I don't know. But we're one step closer to getting in this new room. It was a screened-in patio, and I am converting this to a new living room. I've already been looking at furniture. I want to get me one of them love seats, you know, with the recliners on each side. A couple of end tables. Big TV maybe coffee tables ain't nobody got them anymore because if you got one of them recliners you can't use them if you do it's got to be way out there and there ain't no point in having them and i don't drink no coffee and you know uh, and reach way up there and get it coffee table all right let's take a look guys that is uh about as level that i think i'll get it looks a little high there Oh, there's a reason for that. Okay, there's a little divot. But I, after this sets up a while, then I'll go back. You can see the ripples still where I was doing, but it's just too wet. Now, this is getting to be about the right consistency where I can go in there and just smooth this off. And it ain't got to be that perfect. As long as it's level with the rest of this, we can use it. This one was a little more difficult. Uh, you can see I'm right up right about where I need to be with the T111 looks like a little bit low there I'll get over there in a minute and fix that but I got my Concrete you can see where the old wall was the new ones go in there. So I got concrete to set that on All the way down. I stepped on that Man, so it's gonna work out. And I'm glad that's done. Uh, that's been driving me nuts for years two years whenever I built this, so. Uh -huh. 
What'd you do? Or my screen patio? You, you didn't. I worked hard on it. You tear up everything I do. What? This is progress, man. Oh, if I wanted winters, I'd have put them in right in the beginning. I couldn't afford them. Hey, what happened to your belly? Yeah, I did lose the belly. What'd you do to me? Oh, I don't like you, future Mike. I don't like you none. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I ain't never coming back. Why do you keep coming back? You need to leave. <sighs> you suck. <sighs> you ain't allowed back here no more, man. <sighs>